Hi, it's Grammy from Grammy and Grandpa Read, and today I have a book for you called The Pumpkin House. And this one is written by Roger Von Carr and Julie Davy. Davy. I'm tired of living in a mouse hole, said Flora. I need a nice, comfortable house. But Flora wasn't sure what sort of house to choose. A wooden house would suit me very well, she thought, but I don't have any planks. A brick house would suit me too, but I don't have any bricks. I'd like a house in a tree, but I'm afraid of heights. Flora went back home to think about what to do. She sat in her chair and thought and thought. Suddenly, Flora jumped up and shouted, I know, I'll grow a house. Flora began right away. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. All I need to grow a house is lots of sunshine and water and a pumpkin seed and lots of spare time. Flora watered the pumpkin seed three times a day. She pulled all the weeds and gave the pumpkin plenty of plant food. At last, Flora's pumpkin was big enough to live in, but first she had to hollow it out. Next, she dug out all the seeds from the middle of the pumpkin. She started by cutting out the door. Then she wondered what to do about the rest. I can't waste all this food, said Flora. She cut out some pumpkin and made a pumpkin pie. Then she made pumpkin soup. She even made a pumpkin cake. So she discovered so many delicious ways of cooking pumpkin that she baked and ate all day long. Every day and every the inside of the pumpkin house was getting larger and larger. Every day, Flora was getting larger and larger too. In fact, the pumpkin house and Flora were getting to be about the same size. One morning, Flora felt like pumpkin pie for breakfast, but before she finished eating, the house finally exploded. Flora lay down on the ground and ate the last piece of pumpkin pie. Ah, oh, she sighed happily. All the pumpkin was wonderful. Now what sort of house should I grow next, she said. <laughs> I hope you like this book. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video.